What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jones 4 here bring us some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Today's gameplay, I managed to go 53 kills and 12 deaths. And by the way, I was using the weapon ASM1 speakeasy version. And also, I did do a best class setup for the ASM1 like at least four weeks ago. Well, I'm here to tell you guys that it's probably outdated again. And the reason why is because when I returned back from Battlefield Hardline, and you guys have been seeing my channel lately, I uploaded Battlefield Hardline like for two weeks straight. And um, with no Call of Duty Advanced Warfare knowledge of what's been going on lately with the updates and, you know, blah, blah. Because every time I play Battlefield Hardline, I can see the little updates, uh, little notifications telling me that there's going to be an update for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And that's what's been happening for the past two weeks. So uh, when I came back after, you know, returning from Battlefield Hardline, I noticed the ASM-1 got a little bit weaker. I'm not sure if it's just in my mind, but I did notice it got weaker and a little bit more recoil. It got a little bit more. So um, I feel like it's changed or maybe it's because I haven't played this game like for the past two weeks. I'm not sure. But all I know is the gun felt weaker than the last time I used it. So I was like, I need to create a new best class setup. And I did right away. Like after at least four matches, five matches, I actually got it like right away. And um, after those five matches, I noticed a good pattern with the ASM-1 is that it's super sneaky. And the amount of rapid fire that has the original amount of rapid fire with the uh, ASM-1 speakeasy, it's, it is good enough like to not even bother like adding more rapid fire to it because it's already good enough. It shoots a great amount of rapid fire. And also the damage on the weapon, apparently, I kind of feel like it's increased. So... I don't know if it's just in my mind, but I, I, every time I used it in the battlefield, I felt like it got a little bit strong with the silencer. Another reason why I added the silencer is because I couldn't see with a goddamn muscle flash. That thing will flash my freaking screen, and I couldn't see down the field. So I needed something to like lower the flash muscle, and um, so I can like shoot from like medium range because I couldn't see shit, and I did a good job. So now I'm doing a lot better with the silencer. Kind of weird. So, um, because I, I've never used silencers in this game, I freaking hate it because uh, it takes away like a like a piece of attachment that you probably need the most, like the uh, quick draw or the foregrip or the stock attachment. You know, those those are pretty good attachments right there. But um, you know, I feel like even without one attachment that you probably need for the ASM1, the gun can still be good. And I noticed with the silencer, um, you know, the silencer replaced, I believe, the stock attachment. I don't think it needs the stock attachment anymore because I'm not pretty much uh, getting into close battles with this one. I'm, I'm like sticking around with mid and range battles with the ASM1 speakeasy. So seeing how much, uh, you know, distance I'm keeping away from my enemies every time I use this weapon, I decided to take it with the stock and it's doing a little bit good. I'm a little bit stable, by the way, so... And also, I took a little bit of my skills from Battlefield Harlem, where I used to keep my distance from my enemies, and that's how I got like a lot of kills. You guys have seen my gameplays. If you guys haven't seen them, well, go back a week and, and watch my Battlefield Harlem uh, gameplays. They're pretty much good. And um, I took those skills, applied it to this game, and you can already tell I'm doing a little bit good. So, um, so yeah, the ASM1 got a little bit of a slight difference, and um, I believe it got a little bit better. Because now I, I'm, a, I'm able to sneak around. With no problem. Now I can just shoot my gun at the freaking air without being noticed in the map. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, another thing I want to let, get, let you guys know is that I finally joined a clan. And that video will be coming up like maybe later on on Friday or or Saturday. I'll talk about it in the weekend because um, I got like some other gameplay showing up on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. So um, I'll talk about it later on because it is pretty interesting how I managed to get in the clan in the same month that I joined my first clan. I'm pretty sure you guys won't get it, but anyways, it, it is a big coincidence for me because it's just super weird how it's just in the same month and also the same way I got into Damage Inc. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll I'll, t I'll tell you guys what clan it is so you guys can ask the clan editor and, and join the jo join up the clan because I want you guys to play with me. I need we need more members. We're like to in total like around seven so far. So we want to be better. We want to get out there in the mat. We want to be the best in the game and. I want you guys to join me. I'll explain it in the weekend so you guys can join me because I know you guys saw that video like a month ago or two months ago where I talked about, you know, the idiots of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and I was so upset that I was just like willing to join any clan that freaking invited me and, um, you know, pretty much I got what I what I uh, wished for and I'm doing a lot better. So, yeah, you know, I, I'm kind of happy that I finally got a clan. It's been a while. Last time I was in the clan was in Black Ops 2 with Twisted Method, but that wasn't really a big deal. 
so I'll, I'll explain more details about the clan later on. Um, another thing is that um, you know I'm finally back 100% into this game. Just in case you guys were wondering, because you know I saw like Battlefield Hardline like for two weeks straight, and I'm pretty sure I lost like a lot of followers and people that thought I was gonna um, you know upload a lot of Call of Duty, but I ended up not to because Battlefield Hardline I thought it was gonna be good and. You know, I've noticed that a lot of people don't watch that shit. Instead, they watch Battlefield Hardline for comedy. So, that's one of the reasons why I'm going to stop this the thing. You know, I, I I am the best in the game in Battlefield Hardline, but what's the point in showing it on YouTube if most of the people in YouTube search for comedy? Including Battlefield 4. That's why those games cannot be taken serious. Because people just search shit for comedy. Look look up Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Harlan just by itself. And the first page results are just a bunch of fucking comedy. Vanos Gaming, fucking Deluxe 20, you know, all these motherfuckers. Those funny motherfuckers, you know, are on the first page. And I was like, what the fuck, you know? I was like fucking spending like six hours a day with Battlefield Harlan and I don't get any results. And, you know... This is not the the audience for Battlefield is just comedy. It surprises me because when I search Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, like automatically you, the people are talking about the ASM one, the next gun, uh, tips and tricks. It's like right away. So that's why I'm back, guys. I am back into Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, even though I hate the game, uh, but I got it for free. I did say last year I will be able to play Advanced Warfare only if I get it for free, and I did get it for free. So apparently, it's Destiny. <laughs> no, Destiny fucking sucks. That game doesn't have any story. So, I will not be showing Destiny at all. That game sucks ass. So, anyways, uh, subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty Events Warfare and also more tips and tricks about the ASM1 Speakeasy.